Hello again, and this is lecture three. We're going to continue reading Act three, last together. Okay, on page sixty, we have a dialogue between Hamlet and Ophelia. Here is a summary of their conversation. It shows how Hamlet is being torn into pieces because he cannot marry her. Okay, Ophelia, Hamlet, I'm praying for you. Ophelia, I can hear your prayers. Thank you for your gifts. Here she is referring to the takam or the taam that Gertrude gave her, which Gertrude gave her. But of course, Hamlet has no idea about it, so he asks her, "What gifts? Okay, has it come? What the hour that takes you from me, Ophelia? No, Hamlet, must I be forced to hate you now, Ophelia? No, it's far away, very far." So Hamlet here is terrified, he is very afraid, because he might lose his love forever. But Ophelia keeps reassuring him that she will be there for him forever, yet Claudius and Polonius shut her mouth to stop her. Because they don't want this relationship to go on. Okay? But again, they are controlling her and they are controlling Hamlet, thinking basically about themselves and their good, their personal good, and they never think about Hamlet and Ophelia and their future. So here we will see from the speech that Hamlet is always worried and he is always concerned because he believes that there will come an hour that will take Ophelia from him forever. That he will lose her forever. زي ما يكون هو دايما قاعد مستني الوقت اللي أوفيليا هتضيع منه إلى الأبد ومش هيقدر يكمل معي. Okay, in scene two, continued, page sixty-one. The last paragraph. Hamlet says, "I will clean this land. I will make it pure. I understand. I do understand. But I will cleanse it for you." يعني أنا هطهر الأرض دي عشان خاطرك to be good enough for you علشان تبقى صالحة وتبقى suitable for you I will prepare it for your return even if it costs me my life I will clean it هنضفها خالص من الكوربشن من الفساد ومن كل الصور بتاعة الظلم اللي في البلد I will purge it purge it يعني يطهرها blood will flow I will make blood flow in torrents I swear in my father's name I swear in the name of Allah, but you will return, Ophelia. You will return, and he exits. Okay. This speech is very important because he shows it shows that Hamlet feels that this country is not good enough for Ophelia because she is too sweet, she is too kind, she is too innocent. So he believes that she needs to live in a decent place in. A clean and a pure place, just like her. So he believes he promises her that he's going to cleanse it, cleanse any tahar to purify it from all the evil, from all the tyranny, from all the injustice, and from all the corruption that are dominant in this country. Ila saidin fil baladi to make it suitable for her, for his pure and innocent filia. Only then he can marry her without any sense of guilt or regret. Okay, this paragraph also sheds light on his revenge plan and his violent tendencies. Again, أول حاجة أثبتت إن هو عنده violent tendencies أو ميول للعدوان لل للعنف لما when he asks for phosphorus. تاني حاجة إن هو he promises her that blood will flow. فده معناه إن هو إيه عنده ميول للعنف. I will make blood flow in torrents. Torrents, يعني بكمية كبيرة جدا, in very huge quantities. Okay. So I want you now to focus on the development in Hamlet's character from your point of view, from the point we started reading the play together till this moment. Okay. So I want you to get a piece of paper or in your notebook and tell me how the character of Hamlet developed from the beginning and. So far, لحد دلوقتي لحد هذه النقطة. تمام؟ Next, 
we have on pages from 62 to 64, I will give you a summary of what happens in this scene. Here we have the tyranny triangle. Alhoma mean Clodius, Gertrude, and Polonius. They all get together. Iktamau. Gertrude believes that Ophelia is a bad influence in Hamlet's life. In the scene of the she gave her a taqum and she promises her that Hamlet will marry her. But now, all of a sudden, she decides that Ophelia is not good enough for Hamlet and that she is a bad influence in his life. So she decides to send her away, to exile her from his life totally, to send her to her farm in the south. She wants to set them apart. Clothes in his turn, Bidawrihi decides to send Hamlet in exile as well. He wants to exile Hamlet as well because he wants to get rid of Hamlet. He believes that he is dangerous and he represents a threat to national security. يعني هو بيشكل تهديد على الأمن القومي. And of course, their wedding is postponed forever. وبالتالي الزواج بتاعهم إيه؟ اتلغى أو اتأجل إلى الأبد. Their last decision was to throw a farewell party to say goodbye to Hamlet in a proper royal, royal يعني ملكي way. So now they are going to send Hamlet away to London. They decide that he will be sent to London. And of course, Gertrude tells them that he must be sent in a proper royal ceremony. لازم يبقى في احتفال مشرف وبشكل لائق بالإيه بالعائلة الملكية. And they are always after celebrations. دائما يبقى هما دائما they are thinking about celebrations, ceremonies, and broadcasting them on TV and presenting themselves in a very good image, in a fine image to the public. ايه زي ما قلنا قبل كده ان ده الايه الاوبسيشن بتاعهم او الهوس بتاعهم ان هم دايما يعملوا سيرمونيز ان هم يعملوا سيليبريشنز ان هم ايه تو ابير ان فرونت اوف ذا بابليك ان ا جود ايمج تو بي ريبريزنتد ان ا جود واي اند اون ا فاينل نوت ان ذس سين كلوديس بروميسز ايفري بادي ذات اوف كورس اي ذا فيوتشر از برايت اجين هي كيبس تيلينج ايفري بادي ذات ذا فيوتشر از برايت اند ذات A democracy will prevail. A democracy had a sud, and this country will be one of the best countries in the world. These are his futures, and I want you now, please, to try to compare his promises and his doings, his deeds. Amelu, okay? I want you to compare and to tell me the the opposition or the contradiction. It tano kud bein. الأقوال والأفعال his promises of a bright future and the situation the present situation in the country الوضع الحالي في البلد okay I want you to take care of this point and how he keeps promising his people that the situation is great but in reality the situation is not great at all كلمنا عن ال wars the civil war وال external war كلمنا عن ال violence كلمنا عن ال car bombs اتكلمنا عن innocent people losing their lives اتكلمنا عن ال the project of the pipeline وازاي they want to transfer all the petrol and the natural gas to the west فكل دي مشاكل ايه في البلد اتكلمنا عن ال interference of the west in the Arab affairs through the character of mean الارمز ديلر في انترفيرنس في تدخل من جانب الغرب في ايه في الشؤون الداخليه في البلاد العربيه again i'm repeating because i want you to remember all these parts next we have seen two in this act on page 64 for the first time we witness a confrontation confrontation يعني مواجهه مواجهه between hamlet and clodius Hamlet insults him, بيوهينو, and he calls him a list of names. بدأ يشتمو بإيه بلاقيها طويلة من ال من الشتائم. You are an imperialist dog. Imperialist dog يعني كلب إمبريالي يعني بي بيمهد للاحتلال بتاع الغرب للشرق والاستغلال بتاع خيرات الشرق كلها الغرب بتستغله إيه المصلحتها وده بيتمثل أساسا في البترول. Okay. An imperialist dog. He is a kind of animal that is used to oppress the 
الشرق وبياخدوا كل الخيارات بتاعته an agent عميل عميل لصالح أمريكا a leader by proxy يعني هو أصبح حاكم بصفة الأرابة لكن هو he is not the إيه uh, uh, he is not the legal leader هو مش ال, مش الليدر القانوني and he is a futile man هو راجل useless بلا جدوى وبلا أي أعمال ذات قيمة Clodius feels threatened and he leaves like a coward without saying a word this time Clodius feels threatened حس إن هو مهدد and he leaves he just leaves he doesn't say any word and he just leaves because he is a coward he is جبان it is noticed that it is the first situation here where Hamlet feels empowered and a little at ease. This is shown as he asks the musicians to play an old maqam to cleanse his soul. First moment of spiritual peace, of inner peace. When Hamlet starts to confront Clodius and he tells him the truth, he tells him truly how he feels about him and how he sees him. He is just a dog. He is just an agent. He is just a futile man. Only then he feels comfortable and he feels empowered and he experiences the first moment of spiritual and inner peace in the play. He is always confused and he is always worried and he is always thinking and he is always feeling perplexed or متلخبط. This is the only moment he feels spiritual peace because he was able to express himself. طلع الكلام اللي جواه and he expressed how he feels towards Clodius. The old maqam, طبعا دي كلمة بالعربي زي كلمة التقم زي كلمة حبيبي وفي كلمات تانية هنشوفها كتير والكلمات دي احنا قلنا ان هي البسام بيستخدمها لي. Why is he using Arabic words in the middle of the English text? Because he wants to stress his identity as an Arab, as a, an Arab from the Gulf area. فهو he is using some words from the Arabic language. Last slide, scene 3. It is page 64. Hamlet's inner peace is opposed to Ophelia's suffering. دي اللحظة الوحيدة اللي Hamlet has فيها ب inner peace بس Ophelia is always suffering because of her um, of her confusion in his in this relationship between them she is confused she doesn't know if he loves her or not okay so, so she is always suffering and she is always feeling uncomfortable the arms dealer appears suddenly and Ophelia asks him are you the devil he is depicted as the devil he is the replacement of the ghost and he is the devil. He is very evil. هو دايما ايه شرير جدا ودايما he keeps appearing suddenly. Okay? He answers her as follows. What do you want, Ophelia? I satisfy all desires. Allah, what do you want? أنا بقدر أحقق كل الأحلام وبلبي كل الرغبات زي ما هو بيعمل مع كل الكاركترز. هو he openly tells her so. In this moment, she asks him for a balm, or kumbila. He agrees to get her one. Kalaida bardo Ophelia asks him for a balm or for a kumbila, and he promises her that he is going to get her one. Zayi Mahamlet asks for phosphorus. Zayi Ma Claudius asks for a lot of weapons and a lot of arms to be ready for the war. طلب تانكس وطلب جيتس وطلب حاجات كتير مختلف في الحاجات بتاعة الحروب زي ما يبقى أوفيليا كده طلبت البوم وهاملت طلب فوسفورس وكلوجيس طلب الـ الـ provisions for the war وغيرترود also orders asks him to secure her farm in the south okay. فهو he manages and he succeeds to sell weapons to all the characters in the play that's it for today. Thank you so much.